morning. Good morning. Um, what are you doing? Oh, hey, hey, you can't just jump into my arms. I'm trying to film you. Just hold on. He does this. This is how he tells me he wants to get out of bed. If I'm standing here, he'll come up and he'll like throw himself on top of me. He's like, carry me down now. I must go and see the things on the floor. For I am the champ. Look at all of these things. You're foreseeing, your, you're overlooking your whole kingdom, champ. All right, hold on. I don't know how he does it, but that dog takes up like 90% of that bed. He is not a courteous cuddler. I always do this, but I feel like it's kind of worth it. It's like food and coffee, you know? Sometimes you get the cheap stuff, but sometimes you get the good stuff too. This one's from a company called Boxcar, which if you'll remember, there's one in Toronto too. But this is not a chain. It's just apparently a lot of hipsters like calling their coffee shops boxcar. They're all like very pretentious too. But I found them to be pretentious and rude. And I found the place to be kind of like not that great. It was just like expensive. But uh, coffee's really good. So I mean, I guess I got to put up with something for the good coffee. Oh, breakfast this morning. Check this out. I made like curry last night and I just left like all the sauce in the pan. It's kind of cold out, so I just left it there. I'm gonna heat that up and then poach a couple eggs into it, get some bread, breakfast. It's experimental, I've never had it before. Curry breakfast, but we'll we'll try it out. Perfect, perfect. Crack that bad boy wide open. Man, this is such a good idea. But that's kind of the thing, right? You can like, if you made too much dinner, whatever sauce or whatever you have left over, you can always incorporate into breakfast. Just add egg to it and it's breakfast. Mmm, that's good. It's like a curry breakfast bowl. Oh, champ, it's going down. Champ, it's going down. Ready? Oh, God. 200,000. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, it's not that exciting, I guess. Whoa, look at all those zeros. Wow. I just busted over 200,000 kilometers. Which for a van this age, I mean like, I mean it's basically an adulthood now. Teenage years are over. Gotta start taking care of it. But uh, if that's actually the mileage, then this thing's a bit of a lemon because I've done a lot of work on it for a vehicle that's only got 200,000 on it. So, and when you know it, it needs a lot more. I need to go do an entire brake overhaul and these tires probably aren't gonna last that much longer. One of my headlights is burnt out, still running hot. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, all my USB outlets have failed up front here, so I have to keep charging my stupid GPS in the back and then bring it up front and it doesn't stick to the window. And uh, Anyway, yeah, I've got like 100 things to fix in this thing. Happy 200,000 kilometers! Yeah! Uh, let's go. Oh, wow, wow. It is extremely hot. Still, I'm in Denver, which is... Right over there, I'm right in the foothills of the uh, Rocky Mountains right now. I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a hike with Champ here. We're meeting up with some other van dwellers later, but whew, already, already.
Yo. How's it going? Oh, shit. What's up, buddy? here with Callum and Kathleen. Catherine. Catherine, not Kathleen. Sorry about that. They're right here. They're actually from Toronto and you guys are van dwelling six months on the road. Right. Six months on the road. So um, what is the first thing, the hardest thing that you weren't expecting? Real quick. The fridge. The fridge has been pretty tough because we like to eat and there's only just so much room in that fridge. And it's been freezing or melting. Freezing or melting, that's yeah. right. So we're working on emptying their fridge right now by making ourselves a nice big dinner here at the, uh, what reserve was this again? Anyway, some reserve. There's a bunch of grass and there's mountains in the background. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. You should come out here. It's called something or other reserve. Check it out. We're frying up some stuff. These guys are vegetarian, so I get to try out a Satan, which is Satan's food, which I have no idea um what it actually what vegetable is it made from like tofu no idea, no idea. anyways it's a meat like substance being very meat flavored and meat looking so i assume it's probably going to taste a bit like ground beef all right let's do it dinner time alan is a photographer actually shot some photos of me way back when we first arrived back in toronto in 2015. did it <laughs> 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 Nailed it, Simon! <laughs> Catherine, we have soup, don't we? I think we have tomato Oops. soup. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I have other soups. Oh, that's okay. Let's see what else I got in here. This one doesn't expire till 2019. I've got another one here that doesn't what? expire till 2019. You have what, Simon? Here, okay, fine. Whatever. I have another... Do you want, another... you want mushroom soup? That didn't last long. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, review of the seitan. Basically ground beef. That's my review. Anyway, that's Callum and then that's Catherine. And it's so cool to see them. Like, they're just starting out. They're gonna be on the road for six months. You should really check them out if you wanna follow up on the trip. I did a tour a few videos ago. If you didn't see that already, I'll link that in the description. And I'll also put their Instagrams and stuff. You can uh, keep up to date with them. And that's them leaving now. Bye. I think I'm going to try and see them again, at least in Salt Lake City, if not in Moab. Um, but it's so cool, like, there's so many, like, little things that they're doing that I saw myself doing when I was just starting out. And it's reminding me of some of the things that, like, you learn as you're setting out. So I, I might make a video about that in the future, because there's so many things, like, just behavioral things that I wish I had known setting out that they just can't know without, like, experiencing. And, uh... You know, might have made those first few months a little bit easier on me. But they're doing fantastic. Their rig is so cool. They, and they're such great people. They've got such a laid back attitude about all of this. So I think they're going to probably be a lot better off than I was, to be honest. I'm going uh, to head across town here. There's a spot. This uh, Somebody's been reaching out to me. And she's actually got this really nice loft apartment, uh, apparently, that uh, I can stay at tonight that's completely empty. I'm tempted not to, because to be honest, I'm really comfortable in the van, but I figured she offered and uh, I might as well go check it out. So I'm going to go see it. All right, I'm walking up to the place right now. Jeff, come on. He's just wandering around. I can't believe people are this generous, this nice. And you know what? Like, it doesn't matter what stereotype you believe about what area, I found nice people everywhere I go. It's just awesome.
What are you doing?